I do think William Mary does have a very particular character of research at the undergraduate level. And support from amazing faculty and staff that enable this kind of petri dish of, you know, growing ideas. I decided to write my thesis for anthropology and so immediately I sort of started um, exploring ideas of how I could tie anthropology to urban planning. And it's just incredible like to be able to form those human bonds through research which is generally thought of as such a sort of like removed laboratory process. You have to take time and study the history, speak with tribal citizens, attend the tribe's powwows. You need to prove to the tribe that you mean no disrespect and that you're genuine in your interest. My project is looking at microvertebrate fossils from the Hell Creek Formation in Montana. With the Honors Fellowship, I was able to travel out there and collect my samples. I'm especially interested in the extinction events and why some species can make it through, uh, while seemingly very similar species and gender and just taxonomic um, hierarchies can't. There's always twists and turns, but I think that's the nature of research. Translations and meanings, right? Different words exist in different languages. What is it, like the Inuit have like nine words for snow, right? So is it possible to translate one of the words for snow into the English word for snow and directly get all of the sort of socio connotations that go along with that. And as like, you can do things that are completely surprising, you'd never expect, I and mean, have such wonderful support to go along with it. Good, okay. My project was looking at a certain document that arose during the Zugarramurdi witch hunts of 1609 to 1614. Um, basically, a debate over the veracity of witchcraft came about, and I'm looking at the the losing side of the debate, a document that's been very neglected in the historiography of Spanish witchcraft, and I'm just trying to contextualize that document. I believe very strongly that I would not be the person I am today if I had not had received any of those research opportunities. I think it makes you a better informed person when you've got, you know, this backpack of knowledge of the past that you can apply to today. No, that would have been great. This fellowship was sort of an affirmation in a way uh, that um, my ideas were valued and that they had worth. This research has, has really helped me, I feel, I mean I'm not in grad school yet, but I feel like it really will help me down the line on coming up with a project uh, and knowing how to go about answering the questions I want through that project. William & Mary is a perfect environment for someone who wants to be a lifelong learner and who's curious about the world and who wants to try different things. And that so wonderfully, you know, can result in projects like these.